So if I do the opposite, this is called a vacuum pump. It makes a vacuum inside of there. If I do the opposite, what do you think is going to happen to the balloon? <laughs> okay? Uh, before it explodes, though, what, what's going to happen to its size? Yeah, it's going to get bigger and bigger and bigger. Okay? It, I haven't tested this this year. I normally what? test it during my prep hour, but I lost it today because I was in gym. Okay. Why are you in the gym? I was subbing. Ew! Cool. I was so right true. So it's getting bigger and bigger. That was cool. It popped. Okay. So, what, what did you notice about it, like, the pop melted. that was really weird? It got like a... It was, it was really high. droopy. What do you guys think? Punch it. Pretty much like quiet. Yeah, it was extremely quiet. Yeah, in a vacuum, it's not because the glass is really thick, okay? The glass isn't that thick. What is actually happening, with very few molecules in there, we're taking all the air out, okay? With no molecules, sound can't travel. If you've ever heard, like, in movies a lot of the time, they'll say, no one can hear you scream in space. Because there's no molecules to transfer the sound. And that's the same thing that happened. The sound wasn't able to transfer in there because um, all of there was being sucked out. So, maybe we'll do that a second time if we have a little extra time at the end, but we do need to keep moving forward.